Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis, Vice President of Research and Development with Sepro Mineral Systems. Here with me today is Danny Kwok, General Manager of Sepro Labs. Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the microwave treatment of ore and specifically test work that we do to determine the amenability and the potential benefit of microwave treatment. So Sepro has been working with a team of researchers led by Professor Aaron Bobicki to understand the benefits of microwave treatment of ores. There are two primary benefits that we've identified right now, both around the difference in heating response between ore and waste. So the first one happens at a very small level, which is a differential heating and a thermal stress along grain boundaries between ore and waste particles. This creates micro fractures that do two things. One is it can reduce the overall grinding energy required to liberate ore from waste. The second thing it does is allow for coarser grind sizes because particles are being broken along grain boundaries at a much coarser size than they would be with conventional grinding. This also benefits downstream processes, um, gravity concentration, flotation, cyanidation, um, because it liberates particles more cleanly and it reduces the presence of fines in downstream processes. So also strong benefits for dewatering and tailings management at the end of a process. The second thing that the thermal difference does is at a coarser scale, you can see heating differences between ore particles and waste particles. So we're able to recognize these differences with a thermal camera and a proprietary algorithm and separate ore and waste particles at a coarser size before they enter the mill. And combining both of these benefits, we've seen ores that have required overall 50% less energy compared to a conventional process, not to mention the downstream recovery and tailings management benefits. So to describe what we do to determine the amenability in the lab, I'll turn it over to Danny. Thank you, Andrew. So now that we know what the potential benefits are to having a microwave pretreatment process, the next step is to evaluate the technology is suitable for your project. On a bench scale level, the evaluation is performed with two phases of test work. For the first phase of testing, we will primarily focus on determining the amenability of the microwave technology on a sample. We do this by subjecting a sample to a microwave heating test with the bench scale unit to my left. From this test, a microwave heating behavior curve will be established. Along with the chemical and mineralogical analysis of the sample, the data generated from this test work will be compared with our internal microwave treatment database to determine the amenability of the microwave technology for your sample. Now, if the sample is showing a positive response to the microwave, we can then proceed to the next phase of test work. This second phase of testing involves the investigation of comparative downstream processes with and without microwave wave treatments. The downstream processes can include a number of different tests, including comparative ore sorting, grinding, gravity concentration, flotation, and cyanide leaching. To find out more about how we can apply the microwave heating technology on your project, please reach out to our team at SEPRO. We would be happy to discuss the various aspects of the test program and how we can tailor our approach to each of your unique projects. As Danny mentioned, we have an existing database on the microwave response of dozens of ores. So even with a little bit of mineralogical information, we can make an educated guess about what the microwave response for the ore and the potential benefit could be. So please contact us today.